Hey, hi guys. Today I'm gonna give you a demo of a new UI from our production environment. It's not yet live, but uh, we wanted to give you a quick demo to kind of explain to you and socialize this new UI as we kind of build on it and we'll be releasing in a few weeks, right? So there are a couple of items that we have tried to address in the new UI, certain issues compared to our old UI, which is here, which is in production today. So the first up, we tried to address the issue around discoverability. So we have a ton of features, right, in our platform. We wanted to make sure that the user upfront knows which other features we have so that he can use it to his advantage. So for example, you have the books. Right, so let me take this as PTC USD. All right, so we know that we have something called as the time and sales. We have something called as uh, the DOM. We have something called as the order book, but all of these features are all tucked in within some tab in the left-hand panel. Same with the right-hand panel, right? I have all of these features like the paper trader, the watch list portfolio, but it's all tucked in. We wanted to kind of get rid of them yeah, and bring them to the forefront. So in the new UI on the left-hand side, on the left-hand panel, you have these buttons with all these symbols and some text, which kind of explains to you what this feature is or widget is. Same on the right-hand side, all right? So that is one of the things that we tried to do upfront, solve the problem of discoverability. The second problem we wanted to solve is, you know, we wanted to empower the user to build their own UI. No matter how much the UI designer at our end try and build it to your convenience, there will be certain things that you would always need differently. And so we wanted to give you the power rather than we defining how the UI is gonna be, right? So in the, the new UI, the top bar is exactly the same as the one in production, but everything else has changed. It's a complete rewrite, revamp of the code. So let's see how this works, right? So suppose you have this chart, right? We have the nifty uh, or maybe we go to btc okay so we have the bitcoin chart in here okay and what we're going to try and do is uh, let's try and maneuver the ui so hey i don't need one chart probably i need two chart okay so you have two column chart okay this is something that i've seen in the ui so what's so different all right so i can probably move this the way I want, right? Okay, that's not too fun. All right, let's see. Can you place this chart a little differently so that I can kind of view it horizontally, not vertically? All right, let me just go here. Boom. All right, so a two column becomes a two row. All right, great, but I don't like this. I probably want it in the form of a tab. Great, I'm gonna move it once again and I'm gonna place it here. Oh, wow, now we have a tabs here, right? So I can call it like BTC, USD. All right, that's my tab. Okay, great, but I do want to put my indicators. Okay, very good. And I don't really like the indicators drop down in here. All right, so we have the indicators now here as well, okay? So this is your indicators. So you have all the indicators in the form of uh, uh, one long list, right, if you want. And you can collapse it, okay? And these are your favorites. So I can probably use this to kind of, you know, get my studies going, right? Okay, great. But I also need my drawings, okay? Drawings is a part of the side panel as well. But hey, that's the problem, right? Both study and drawing, I want to do all of that together. All right, I'm gonna come and bring it here. I'm gonna just move my mouse and all the drawings are now part of the main section. Hey, that's great. You know, I can pick anything I want, right? But what I really, really want is just one small narrow panel. All right, it's all movable, resizable. So I'm gonna resize it the way I want, okay? So let's see. So this is one form, right? So this is another, all right one small narrow line maybe place it a little further all right excellent now i can do my work without you know losing a lot of real estate great that's great but i want to see the time and sales you know this is great but i have everything i need but I now i need my time and sales okay i'm gonna push my time and sales here 
All right. Time and sales. I also need my DOM along with my time and sales. All righty. Here you go. Here's your DOM, right? Great. Awesome. I was wondering if you could somehow place the watch list as well. Great. This is where my watch list is, right? This is my watch list. Okay. Let me put this in the compact mode. All right, this is my watch list. Is there a way you can move it to the left? Sure. Here. Half of your screen is the watch list. Half of your screen is the time and sale. So now you can kind of track your all everything in your watch list. You have your time and sales. You have DOM. You've got pretty much everything. Hey, what about my chart? Sure. Where do you want it? Mm. Let's place the news on top of it, right? I'm going to put the news so that I can also follow my news, right? So I have this news, I have this, and I have my charts in a tab format, right? Now, this is great, but it looks a little cluttered. Can I do something so that I can focus at some point in time only on the chart? Sure. Here, click on, that's your uh, single view, right? Great. Is there anything else I can do? Mm. Let's see how it looks on the dark mode. Wow, this looks neat. All right, uh, can can I give more space probably to my DOM? Sure, move it up, okay. Uh, what else can we do? Mm. Yep, we can now support multi-monitor. How's that? So there is a pop-up pop-out button. You can click on it, and the moment you click, there's a new window that is going to 